Dr. Jha from Green Clinic in Lincoln Spa. I'm very delighted and happy to uh, introduce you to uh, Dr. Abha Sina, who is a lead consultant gynecologist at City Hospital and uh, City and Sanitary Hospital in Birmingham. And uh, today we are going to be discussing a little bit about the vaginal discharge symptoms. Although there are so many symptoms in the gynecology, but we cannot cover everything. Today we will focus on uh, the vaginal discharge symptoms. So, uh, Dr. Sina, tell the viewers about the uh, common uh, symptoms such as vaginal discharge. Thank you very much, Dr. Sina, and for giving me this opportunity for this video. And I think this is a very important condition because lots of women complain and suffer uh, from it and are really concerned. Uh, but in most cases, it could be just a very minor cause, and we can easily see them and treat them and make them better, or at least reassure them that there is nothing worrying going on. Uh, vaginal discharge can be a physiological discharge because we know that vagina is not a dry organ, it's a moist organ. And uh, some women are more aware of the discharge, so it's all about you know making you feel reassured that there's nothing worrying if there is slight increased discharge. The discharge can vary at the time of the menstrual cycle, even with your so just before your periods, you may notice some increased discharge, it may be there afterwards, it may the discharge may change, change when you are pregnant, and this is all normal and physiological. This is nothing to worry about. But there are sometimes conditions when the vaginal discharge, the usual vaginal discharge is like quite pale and, and clear with no smell. But if the discharge becomes discolored, like white in color or you have associated symptoms like itching or if there is a strong smell, then there may be a suggestion that there's something going on and we may be able to treat it very simply by examining you, doing swabs to check you out and find out what is the reason of your discharge and uh, give the right treatment basically which can just be some uh, pessaries or probiotic uh, treatment or even sometimes antibiotics and that can help you so this is the usual so there are physiological reasons as i said but which is associated with menstrual cycle you can have increased discharge at the time of your ovulation which you already know about most women know that there's a sticky discharge and that's nothing to be worried about and this is just because of the hormones uh, so that is what the basic thing is sometimes discharge can be changed in pregnancy which i've already said uh, the common causes which can be treated are foreign body in the vagina sometimes less leslies and tampons can cause discharge so and sometimes women forget and it is common it happens sometimes and removal of the best way giving antibiotics helps there can be non-sexually transmitted infections because vagina has got some bacterial common cells. By that I mean that there are some natural bacteria in the vagina which protects the woman. At times when your immunity is reduced due to any viral illness, flu or any other issues or when you are stressed even, then you know you can get an infection and uh, then you start worrying about it. So we can treat it, we can do swabs and uh, we can give you the right treatment as the swab results. And these are very simple conditions which can be easily treated in our patient clinic. And that's what I'm here for you to reassure you. Other common causes are uh, the thrush infections, the BV or the bacterial vaginosis, which is associated with the fishy smell. The thrush discharge is like a curd, like you know, particulate white discharge. Or sometimes there could even be sexually transmitted infections, but don't worry, they are always we are able to diagnose and treat them. So if you have any such concerns, you can contact the clinic and we can arrange a appointment to see you and reassure you and give you the right treatment. Thank you. Thank you very much.